natural that the flasks are part of your build and the players can change them. I mean, yeah. imagine how the flasks work in PvP. You can have the choice of flasks that increase your damage so that you can try to go for a quick kill, or you can go for a long fight with lots of large, slow flasks. Exactly. So you could try to burn all your mana really quickly and have a lot of those. Yeah. And then on the mods, you have the choice of short, fast ones or big, slow ones. I'm thinking like the items that will be almost worth the most is like super good health flasks or mana flasks. <laughs> Can you get the rare ones, yeah. by the way? You can't, and we, we talked about this long and hard, but the basic reason is that it's really hard to keep track of more than about two properties per flask. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah very true. It's gonna be... So you get this dilution thing where the mods would be really tiny on them, and we wanted to have meaningful mods. Yeah, I mean, having two on each flask already makes it very complicated. Yes, exactly. Uh, like, right now I'm not paying that much attention to them, but I don't have any, like, super abilities. I, I got on my Witch, I got one with run speed, which is really cool. I don't have that. Then I would just click it to run around faster. What's the best mod you can get on a healing thing? It's anything? often useful to have. Well, I like having at least one flask that gets rid of burning and at least one flask that gets rid of cold. Because oh. that way if you're on fire or frozen you can get out of that state quickly. So yeah. I class that as important. The players probably have other preferences. Another good one is making the flask instant as a mod. It reduces the amount yeah. that it heals but it makes it instant so that's good for getting out of emergency situations. It's like, oh, what's this green? There's a big green thing on the map, but I don't think they can do it. That's a, um, a location that drops a quest reward. Oh, there's... Like this. Oh, yeah, 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 I missed it. I think that was my quest, actually. Yeah, you have to rest, you have to get the, the golden hand from <coughs> it. Yeah, that's the whole quest here, I think. Oh, I missed the waypoint at crossroads, and... It... Oh, I guess it's, you should really get the waypoints, because I think I have to redo that map now, because I didn't get the waypoint. Yeah, <clears throat> the crossroad is a good place to go. Oh, like, it's... I, I see... Every time I go to town... Yeah, these are players. Like, I see random players here. Yep. How does that work? Yeah, there's loads of players here. So the way that works is... When you're out of town, your instances are private, it's just you and your party. But in town, the instances are slightly larger, you can fit up to about 30 people in them. Oh. So when, so when there's a lot of players around, there's a few different towns, and you get put in one. It's, it's like Guild Wars 1. Okay, I didn't play that game. Okay, it's a good game. That's complete. Oh, there's one thing, like, I, like for example, now I have a rare bow. Mm -hmm. uh, do I, I get more mat if I identify it right? But it's probably not worth it because it only has one socket that's red. Well, you get different um, things if you identify it versus not. Like, you get different types of things. Yeah. So I generally don't identify most of mine, but yeah. that's just personal preference. I'm sure the players have their own opinions and I'm probably a noob. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it though. Oh, no, I didn't check. Yeah, now I got 13 alteration shots. This, I, oh, I don't have energy shield anymore, but it seemed kind of good even on a Marauder. I don't know. Maybe it's having not a, <laughs> Having a little bit of it is important for two reasons. For a start, it regenerates pretty quickly, so it's nice to have, you know, 20 life that regenerates fast compared to the rest. Yeah. And secondly, while the energy shield, while you've got some energy shield up, you get a 50% stun resistance. So if, if you have some energy shield, then the first hit that gets you will um, be resistant to stuns. Oh, okay. That's of course, cool. that's less relevant if you're in combat a lot, because obviously the energy shield is depleted most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm, let's see, three red links. Damn it. 
I've been told you used to be the main tank for one of the huge European progression guilds. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I, I haven't played WoW for a long time. I've been told you need to buy the triple socket multicolored item and go chromatic. Oh. Supposedly in the shop. Oh, what, what, what do you mean? Uh... Yeah, there's, there's one of the things you can get good value on from the shop there. Oh, there was one here? Yeah, I think it was a mall or something. Oh, yeah, long, but there's a long step here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it was a stuff. Yeah, I, I was. Oh, there's a few of them here. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a mall. Yeah, this one, Orb of Augmentation, that's like. Is that worth some? Maybe I shouldn't get this one. Uh, I guess you don't have any. No, I was just so focused on getting a triple red link right now. I'm glad you appreciate the shops. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually nice to be able to use the shop for something. Yeah. Well, you, you know the secrets to profiting from it now, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think I have any orb of augmentation. I guess they're pretty good since I don't have them. Yet. They're, they're the ones that add a mod to a blue item. So if you have something that's nice with one mod, you can add a second one. Yeah. Let me buy this one. Yeah, you can buy using your stash, like you don't have to put the items in your inventory first, it will find them in the stash. Oh, what do you mean exactly? Uh... Um, if, if you have the, the things that it costs sitting in your stash, you can still buy things. Oh, like... I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I'll definitely do that then. I don't have to swap them around all the time. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, actually, wait. Did this combine to something? No. Let's see what I get for this thing. Yeah, it's the chromatic groups. Forges the color of sockets. How how do you use that exactly? Like, how do you pick the socket you want? Oh, basically, it's random. It's like random. you just have. To, yeah. So you have to use a lot of them to get exactly what you want. Yeah. But you've got several, and you know, but life is short, so you may as well try What it. if I have a four socket item? Will it change them all? It it will change the colors of all the sockets, but all it doesn't sockets. change the, the number of sockets or the links. There are yeah, different exactly. things to do that. So if you have things that are connected, like your gloves, for example, you yeah. could theoretically... I mean, it will disturb your links, but you could try going for triple red. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it might take a lot of tries, though. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's definitely worth it. If, oh! Like, the best items you can find, is that those, like, is it a rare with, like, extra quality? I, I, I've i seen some items with some quality, like... Yeah, you can grind the quality up using the uh, whetstone, which is on the right of your arbitrary. That will increase it by 1% on res, or 5% on white items. It so it's better to quality it first. Oh yeah, it's armor's breath, right? Yeah, there's quality on both weapons and armors, and also flasks oh. and gems as well. Yeah, I see so it, you I can... see it. Oh, so it's max 20%. Okay, then I can up it myself on each item, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, I think people are really gonna like the fact that you can make, like, you can get some really, really strong items, like, you max the quality, you make, like, perfect gems. Yep. Like, if you find an item that's six linked socket, I mean, I guess you wanna spam these orbs, of, uh, these chromatic orbs to get, like, the combination you want. Yes, exactly. If you find a six socket item, you can pretty much make a nice rare out of it with, by re-rolling it a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's what people save these things as well. Uh, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> and now I have to run through old wheels again. Yes, it's okay. I think, didn't you have the crossroads waypoint, or maybe I... No, missed I, I missed it. I missed it. Ah. Uh. My bad. Hmm, I don't have a quest to go up there yet. Yeah, Alan, this game has so much variation compared to Diablo 3. Like, that's one of the worst things with Diablo 3. Either you go crit or you went attack speed, like, there's, there's nothing more to it. That's why you, the game ends so fast. They made it way, way too simple. 
Okay. Well, this was very lucky for us, of course, because we, we didn't know that when we were developing our game. We just wanted to make ours as good as we could. Yeah. It looks like Jonathan's doing a good job answering the questions in the chat there. Maybe none of the guys are paying attention to us anymore. <laughs> uh, well, it's like it's like things that um, it's the variance, uh, the variety in this game that makes me like it a lot. Like it adds so much end game. Like you have stuff to do even when you're max level. Thanks. I'm glad you appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. I think you're exactly the target market we're going for. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <clears throat> What's that, Jonathan? Sorry. People love Jonathan more than me now, according to chat. Because <laughs> I'm just sitting around talking and not answering their questions. Oh, and I heard, I guess it's true, like, the more I use an ability, the faster it levels, but it still levels slowly. Yeah, that, that one's actually a myth. It, it just gives you 10% of your experience to all the gems. Oh, it always so does? For example, yeah, for example, if you've got 100 experience, you then get an additional 10 for each gem. There's no fanciness Oh, so it going. doesn't matter if I use it or not. No, it, it's, it's... We may introduce that in the future. But well, I, the I don't mind it. I, I just wanted to know because I was using like shit the abilities because I wanted to level the gem, but I guess I shouldn't do that. <laughs> like, people spread that rumor in order to <laughs> troll people, I think. Yeah, or they didn't know themselves. Because, I mean, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of hard to notice as well. Right. Well, that's the great thing about superstitious trolling. You troll one person, then they believe it, so they tell people sealed sincerely. Exactly. But then it, yeah, it's, it's like with my Molten Shell, I really want to level it, but I don't want to use it all the time when I clear mobs. So, I, I kind of like this system. It's the same, like, if you get, like, a timed ability that you don't use that often, I mean... You would still want to level it the same speed as, for example, like, Cleave, which you use a lot. Yep, and they do at the moment, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I should look... Yeah, I think I should look more on white items, like, to see if there's any good links. Really yeah, some some people don't care about that mini game and just look for rares, but yeah. the people who care about white items find quite a lot of value. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it doesn't really. You can just put your mouse over it. Oh, I really like that, by the way. That you see the item just by hovering over it instead of Thanks. having to do something special. Makes do you notice that the the items on the ground also show the links with a little mini representation? Like they've got some little colored dots that are connected, so you can see it without even mousing over. Oh, really? At the bottom right of each icon. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't notice that until now. You see that, guys? It has a green and a red dot on it. Oh, then I don't actually have to hover. That's really, really good. That is good. This spell is burning. Oh, I found one of these mana blasts now. We charge just three shards when you take a critical hit. Oh, that's kind of good, too. Okay, I'm definitely gonna use this one. You go away. You see, if I burn, I just click this. It's very cool. <clears throat> Have you tried zooming in using the mouse wheel? Yeah, yeah, I tried it a bit. I mean, it's cool, but you definitely can't play like this. <laughs> yes, it just helps us show off the graphics. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, like they have the, they have this in almost all games, but you mainly use it to see how your gear looks, I guess. Yeah, we only added that a few months ago. Previously, it was stuck at the, the distance that we're at. What did I do? Oh. Mm. I have a lot of abilities now. Oh, I have like two leaping strikes. Uh, hope I'm using the highest level one. How does flasks work? Well, I guess he will look someone. The flask system in this game is fucking amazing. Thanks, that was part of our philosophy of put everything on items. Yeah. Well, it's something I've never seen that in a game before. So, it's cool. 
we felt it made more sense than just carrying 50 small flasks, I mean, small potions around with you. Yeah, yeah, but both the, yeah, I mean, both the having abilities on them and the fact that they regen when you kill stuff is good. Yeah. 